that's much better. I'm the guy that wrote this song. Uh, my name's Greg Godovitz. Wrote this song uh, in my apartment one night, thinking I wanted to write a song that sounded like uh, uh, Ian Hunter. All the young dudes. Hey, you good looking in the very front row. Very English for a guy from Scarborough. I also ripped off Warren Zebon's Werewolves of London on this one, which I did cop out on myself to uh, Crystal Zebon when she was on my radio show in this very building. So uh, I wanted that at the end of all the young dudes. He goes, hey, you with the glasses, you know, and so that's how it starts out. Hey, you good looking in the very front row. Uh, this song did very well for us. Uh, I found out later on that it was on, there was an AM station that was quite popular back in the day. This one. Uh, but it was on the on their chart for 28 weeks, which is a pretty good run. And somebody sent me uh, a Bristol board with all of the weeks that it had been on, which I still have. And I think it peaked at number five on the chart, which was a big deal. What I always liked about it, the chart thing was not so much that we were on it, but who was around us. You know, you'd you'd see we were at number 28, but ELO was there. You know, or uh, whoever Helen Reddy or whoever was around in those days. So we went in and recorded this song, and. Uh, we couldn't get a guitar solo that made any sense. Both Gino Scarpelli and myself tried everything in that section that's coming up shortly. And there's this little kid that used to come around with me all the time named Ru Russell Nakashima. And uh, he was about four, I guess, at the time. So what I finally did was, I think it comes up right after this bit here. I put him on a garbage pail and I got a microphone, stuck it on his mouth. And I said, Russell, when I point at you, I want you to say, I'm just a pretty bad boy. And I think we did it four times. This will be the first one coming up right here. I'm just a pretty bad boy. Pointing at him again. I'm just a pretty bad boy. There was one here, but we left it out. This one's great because he sounds resigned. I'm just a pretty bad boy. Yeah, he is. And he also gave me a hit record. It was like having a little kitten mewing on your on your record because every girl in the country that heard it, you know, took it to the top of the charts everywhere. And uh, I think it was probably the most money I ever made from a song. I mean, it's pretty pretty bad when you have a band that everybody's looking at as iconic and everything, but you only really had one hit single, you know? So I guess Gatto does fall into that wonderful category of one hit wonders. <laughs> They've been milking it for 43 years. Uh, that's pretty much the story of uh, A Pretty Bad Boy. I think there's also a girl makes a cameo in there. She says, just your eyes are screaming, and she goes, anytime in this sultry voice. We had a lot of fun with it. Uh, I remember we didn't take the song too serious ourselves until it started, you know, expanding our fortunes. And uh, all of a sudden, we went from being a bar band to be a, being a bar band that was playing in small arenas and traveling all over the place. And I remember what I did do is the money I made from this record, I sent my mom and dad to England and to Paris for two weeks, which felt really good because I got a whack of money for it. And that basically is the story of Pretty Bad Boy. You can blame me.